We've already done completing the square once. This is the second part of completing the square and it's not pretty. Okay, remember when you're completing the square, you want to get it into the form x squared plus or minus bx equals c. Remember, we want the c on one side and everything else on the other side. And then also, this has to be a 1. The coefficient from x squared needs to be a 1. So the problem we have has a couple problems with it. The first thing, our 15 is not in the right spot. So we're going to say negative 3x squared plus 12x. Add 15 to both sides equals 15. The second problem I have with this is I don't have a 1 in front of my x squared. So I have to take everything on this side and divide it by negative 3. Everything on the other side, what you do to one side, you do the same on the other. Divide by negative 3. Remember when you've got this divide, like you've got add or subtract on the top. That means you have to distribute that divide by negative 3. So negative 3 goes into negative 3, leaving me with x squared. Negative 3 goes into 12x minus 4x times equals, this is negative 5. That was step one. Next, we have to find b over 2 squared. So b is negative 4 over 2 squared. So it's negative 2 squared, which is a positive 4. So we're going to take that 4, and we're going to say x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals negative 5 plus 4. Remember, that's how we end up with a perfect square trinomial. This is going to be x minus 2 squared equals negative 1. Now I'm going to stop right now because our next step would be to factor this. But once I try, well, after I factored it, is to take the square root of both sides. But once I would take the square root of both sides, what do I notice? Square root over here. Square root of a negative 1, I can't do that. That's an imaginary number. So as soon as I saw that I had a negative 1, over here that my perfect square trinomial, once I factor it, equals a negative number, I'm going to say no real solutions. So you always have to watch out now once you have your perfect square trinomial, once you have your uh, factor it, if it equals a negative number, you're going to have no real solutions because you can't take the square root of a negative number. That's problem one. Problem two is uglier. All right, problem two starts. 5x squared plus 19x equals four. Well, it's already got the C on the right-hand side, so that's good, but we've got this 5, and we don't want a 5, we want a 1. So I have to divide that by 5, I have to divide that by 5. Remember in algebra, we, we use fractions, we do not use decimals. You are not changing anything into decimals. We have to distribute, divide by 5, that leaves me with x squared plus 19 over 5x equals 4 fifths. We still need to take our b over 2, b over 2, and square it. So b is 19 over 5 over 2 and square it. So this is the same thing as 19 over 5 times, divide by 2 is the same as multiply by a half, right? Divide by 2 is the same as multiply by a half, and then I have to square it. So this is the same as 19 over 10 squared. 19 over 10 is 361 over 100. That's what I have to add to both sides x squared plus 19 over 5x plus 361 over 100 equals 4 fifths plus 361 over 100. All right, this ends up 
the good part about this is uh, we already know this is x plus 19 over 10 squared equals. Now that side you need to do the math. 4 fifths, I'm going to move up here, 4 fifths plus 361 over 100. I need a common denominator of 100. It's 80 over 100 plus 361 over 100. So that gives me 441 over 100. If things work out nicely, this is going to be a perfect square. Okay, I square root both sides. Square root over here, square root over here. X plus 19 over 10 equals the square root covers everything. So 441 actually is a perfect square, plus or minus 21 over, square root of 100 is 10. So you're going to have, <laughs> now we have to separate this up into two problems. I've got x plus 19 over 10 equals 21 over 10. I've got x plus 19 over 10 equals negative 21 over 10. And I still have to do that math. Minus 19 over 10, minus 19 over 10. x equals 2 over 10 or 1 fifth. I'm going to subtract 19 over 10, subtract 19 over 10. x equals negative 40 over 10, which equals negative 4. So my two answers for this problem are 1 fifth and negative 